welter with everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 11 losses, one draw, and two no contests. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Alex Cowboy Oliveira! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to go. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Come on, buddy. Liver up. kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Right hook to the head blocked. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Come on. Oh, a little single collar tie there. All right, boy, Ty Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No nope. man. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Lands a big elbow there. Just over three minutes to go round one. All right, let's go. Let and he landed the right hand there. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Less than a minute to go. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh, big head kick lands. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Come on, sneak that kick in there. Nice punch there by Oliveira. Big body kick lands. Ten seconds, let's go. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Right hook attempt, no good. Big off the punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, 
Nice leg kick. Let's get busy Watch knees to the body. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. I guess it pays DC to be the longer fighter. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, nice elbow. Big kick land. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Oliver. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Nice straight punch. Just misses with the left hook. Got clip with the right hand. Beautiful body kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Connects with the right. Got the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Oliveira. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, eats a knee. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Beautiful body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. There's no give on that leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Stuff, what a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, 
but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Stay busy. You control this. Just missing on the high kick there. Huge block there. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick. Oh, collar tie. Punch there by Oliveira. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Let's get him down. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice punch by Cowboy Oliveira. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. This big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Put your hands up higher. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Single collar tie now. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, big knee there. He blocks the punch. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Effective punch there by Oliveira. Stuffs the takedown. All right, so no now we're on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Oliveira's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Get off first. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Leg kick, great punch, landed with so much power. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Oliveira. He misses with the right hand. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Trying to stay in this fight! What a fight. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Pressure and get the takedown now. And a nice job at least. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Right hand punch. The Big knee lands there. Oh, straight right. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. And he caught the kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Now connects with a right. One minute left in the round. One minute to go. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Under a minute to go in round four. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Yeah. 
30 seconds to go. And for a minute, push, push, push. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just misses with the right. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Beautiful strike. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Slips the punch. You got this, come on. Oh, Whiffs on the straight right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Oliveira gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Boy, Ty Plump. Nice leg kick land. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Slips. Two minutes now to go in this one. Just out of range with that left hook. Ooh, what a punch. Single collar tie here. Sneaky head kick. 
Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. All right, single collar tie oh, now. Nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Keep your hands up. Get those combinations going. Big head kick lands. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Nice. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Press forward, get that takedown. Just misses with the left hook. So the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision the judges score the contest 49 46 48 47 and 48 47 for the winner by unanimous decision Kevin the Trailblazer Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.